I would wear my contacts today, but when I'm editing stuff, I'd rather wear my glasses. Good afternoon, almost evening, sunshiners and possibly sunshaders. So I need to check my mail more often. Um, a couple days ago I checked my mail and uh, there were a few bills and uh, my loot crate. <laughs> so here's the loot crate for the month of September. Hold on, I gotta open it. Okay, um, so there's a science fiction little figurine thing which can be any of these. I'll open that in a second. Uh, oh, there's a triple. Um, okay, the button for this month, or well, last month's, uh, which is uh, Galactic is the theme. Let's see what else there. Okay, there's um, an alien figure from the Alien series. Hopefully that was in frame. Uh, there is a magnet. Um, I think this is the game Asteroid, but I don't really know my retro arcade games, so you tell me. I think that's the correct way. Uh, let's see. There is uh, something for Halo, but it looks like it's looks like it's a um, code, so I'm not going to show that. Even though I don't usually use Halo, I just don't think that those codes are technically transferable to anybody else, so if I were to give it to somebody, I would physically give them the uh, card thing, not just tell them the code. Just a personal thing. Uh, let's see. Um, some weird alien currency thing. Not entirely sure what that is. Or why that's in here. Is it even alien currency or am I insulting some culture? I don't know. That's interesting. Uh, let's see what else is there. Uh, okay, wow. Uh, fall into savings. A little brochure thing from Loot Crate. That does not fit the uh, theme of the rest of the package. It's just an advertisement. Okay. Um, what else is there? Ooh. Pop Rocks. Totally fits the theme. Whatever, I'm not complaining. Uh, then a poster, which I might be able to... No, I, I will show you this uh, stretched out in a second. It requires um, two hands. Well, the handy dandy um, book of uh, what's in the loot crate um, informs me that I'm an idiot. I should have recognized it. The uh, alien currency is from Firefly. That's a pretty awesome show that I'm a huge fan of and I wish that it didn't only have one season. And I should have recognized the currency. Apparently it's from uh, the bank robbery episode or something like that. Um, yeah. So, uh... Okay, wait, uh, the magnet is actually, um, the Star Wars retro arcade game. And that's it for my confusion. Also, they're starting to get more creative with the inside of the box. Started with the, uh, superheroes and villains boxes, but now it seems like every single box. Also, pay no attention to the pile of dirty laundry in the corner of the, uh, shot. So here's the uh, blind bag um, figurine. I think it's Mal from uh, Firefly, but I may be wrong. It's the kind of uh, cartoony makeup that's kind of throwing me off. If it was a little more realistic, I'd be able to figure it out. Or if it was one of the aliens that it could have been. So nine times out of 10, I will open every single package that I get inside my loot crate. This time I'm gonna leave one of them not opened and that is the alien action figure from the movie 
and series Alien um, because it looks like those kind of packages that you see um, collectors never open because it's worth more in package. So I'm not entirely sure if that's a uh, remake or an actual collector's thing. I mean, it could technically be both, I guess. But I'm not going to open it just in case I have a friend who's interested in collecting alien memorabilia stuff. Yeah, memorabilia. I can't speak. Memorabilia stuff, and uh, they would be angry at me if I opened it. Um, so, not gonna open that one. I mean, unlike most of the other packaging, you can actually see it inside its package anyways, so, yeah. It's kind of hard to get a good shot of it, but uh, this is the poster that was folded up inside the box. Um, it is Han Solo trapped in carbonite. I may or may not be keeping this. I am a Star Wars fan, but I don't know if I'll want to keep this. Maybe I'll give it to a friend who's a bigger Star Wars fan than I am. Pop rocks are fun. That's probably really flattering. Probably really gross too, sorry. Had I not slept until 3 in the afternoon, I probably would have got my review up today. All I have left is background music and I'm inserting the uh, commentary from the disembodied text, also known as text typer. Um, so uh, yeah, but first I need to get something to eat. I haven't eaten since this afternoon. So I skipped dinner. Um, it's now about, oh, one in the morning. Very few places are open at this time. So uh, most likely I'll be heading to Buffalo Wild Wings. Actually, you know what? I'm in the mood for some breakfast for, well, technically dinner, but at this time it could also be breakfast. Um, let's go to IHOP, considering it's open at this time. If not, I'll head to Applebee's, mix it up. Breakfast for dinner at uh, like one or two in the morning. Best idea ever. So I don't know why I'm so paranoid about spoiling a potential joke that's gonna happen in one of my reviews um, in my vlogs currently because I am several weeks behind in uploads of my vlogs. Uh, maybe I'm just preparing myself for the eventuality of actually catching up. <laughs> then I won't want to make any spoilers or whatever in the vlogs because they will possibly be uploaded before the review. Currently I'm still behind, so I could technically spoil something if I wanted to, but I don't. Good night, whoever's watching this. See you tomorrow. Well, I won't see you, but you will see me. If you enjoy watching my vlogs, even though I'm over two weeks possibly behind, feel free to hit that subscribe button and possibly share it with a friend. There's a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine Shade. So, I was heading to bed. And I'm like, you know what? I'll put in a load of laundry. Open the laundry closet, lift up the uh, washing machine lid, and there are towels. Not dry, like ready to be washed, but wet towels. Which means I forgot some towels in there, um, I don't know how many days ago. That's where the issue lies. I don't know how long they've been sitting in there. If I were my mom, I would just add some bleach, not enough to cause any major discoloration, just enough to uh, get rid of the mildew that may or may not be in there, 
and uh, then everything would be ready and done and able to be dried and reused and all that kind of stuff. But besides me not being my mom, I also don't own any bleach. So I'm putting the towels through another wash. Hopefully, they don't have mildew. If they do, then I guess when I go shopping this Wednesday, I am buying some more towels. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna buy a few more towels anyways. I seem to have very few towels. Either that, or I need to wash my towels more often. <laughs>